37 understanding how germinating seeds utilize food reserves until the seedling can carry out photosynthesis so the food reserves are here in the cotyledons and we've already discussed how the germinating seed will require some water and uh, higher temperatures and oxygen so assuming we've satisfied these three conditions what happens is that the food stores here are used to promote the growth of the embryonic root which comes out like this this is called the radical and also the embryonic shoot which will grow in the opposite direction like this you might recall this is an example of negative geotropism and the root is showing positive geotropism so it's, this one's growing up this one's growing down it's called the plumule the embryonic shoot so it develops its root system and from the soil it's going to be absorbing uh, nitrates and phosphates and various other minerals to promote the growth of the uh, embryonic plant and so this process carries on until the plumule is able to break through the soil into the air by which time one imagines we've got a more developed root system and so forth like this and so the food store here is used up to promote this growth until the seedling can get up into the air and at that point it can start to produce its first leaves like this and of course then we can have photosynthesis so at that point it will absorb light the water and minerals will be going in through the root system here and then up through the stem and out to the leaf and so the plant can then promote its own growth through photosynthesis.